great show. I'm your host, Mr. Big Grades, coming to you live from a reservation somewhere. Taking a look at NCT and a few other coins to uh, continue the night. I hope everybody's having an awesome Thursday night. I know I am out here getting amazing price action across the board. We got NCT coming out at 0.0213. Amazing price action. We got people out here calling for some higher price action. We got people calling for some lower price action. I'm definitely out here looking for both. We get some green, green candles to the upside. Definitely buckled in, ready to go. If we get some lower price action, definitely out here ready to buy. So we got NCT coming at 0.0215, just above that 786. Are we going to get some bullish movement to the upside? We definitely got to keep an eye on that 786. Looks like it just came down under the 786 and it's trying to make its way back up above the, uh, the just above uh, 0.0214, coming at 0.0215. So if we can hold some support and start making some movement to the upside, that would definitely look like some bullish action. <laughs> if we can get back over that 618 at 0.026. To six, grab some support consolidation, start making some movement to the upside. We'll get this cleaned up for the tomorrow show. It looks like a war zone out there, uh, but that's de definitely what it's been looking like <laughs> for the past few weeks. And uh, uh, as far as uh, you know, could you know BTC being so undecided could possibly just see some sideways action until the market starts making some movement to the upside. If we can't hold that support, could possibly see some consolidation down to some lower price action. I definitely got my eyes on this 0.0152, and if we do lose that support definitely gonna be in that how low can you go scenario uh, and uh <laughs> definitely out here lurking for some uh sub one cent ncd that would be some amazing accumulation over time more bane for your buck uh <laughs> so keep it on that that support at the uh, 786 and if we start making some moves over that 618 definitely could see some bullish movement to the upside definitely still gets that bearish butterfly scenario set up so you know definitely keep an eye on that scenario if we can't start making some movement up over this uh 0 0.0372 and start you know could possibly see some lower price action so you know like i was saying we got some people calling for some higher price action on btc we got a lot of people calling for some lower price action so either way i'm out here ready to buy i'm out here ready to make some moves to the upside but you know definitely remains to be seen and we'll do a follow-up video tomorrow and see where we're at so keep an eye on that price action keep an eye on btc and you always gotta remember this is not financial advice these are my views and opinions on market only and you always gotta do what's right for you so moving moving on up to scale scale getting a little bit about there coming out 0.0688 <clears throat> tried to make some move to the upside but you know we had that creepy crawly action <laughs> and we had a little bit of drop off onto some lower price action so it's kind of the scenario that i'm looking for with a lot of the coins that are out here a lot of coins got this same setup going on some of them are trying to make some movement to the upside and it's, you know a good portion of them could possibly be set up with this price action here so i'm definitely out here looking for some uh lower price action but as you can tell with scale scale came down and tested that support and came back down and tested it again and as of right now put in that higher high so <laughs> i mean put in that higher low uh, and now we got to start setting up for that higher high so uh that's the goal as far as scale tonight as far as getting some bullish uh moves to the upside but you know it definitely looks a lot better than a lot of the coins out here that haven't come back down and tested that support so i'm definitely excited to see where we're going with this price action are we going to see some sideways action or are we going to start testing some lower support uh scales looks like it's probably going to be the first one to set up on that action and kind of play out that uh <laughs> the, the action of the next couple of days uh but you know when scale starts getting making some movement to the upside it starts making some movement to the upside if we do come back down and test this the support again if we do lose it i'm still out here looking for that 0.0199 could be just wishful thinking but definitely you know definitely got it there on the table and if we lose that support i'm definitely out here looking for that sub one cent scale which would be some amazing price action as far as getting some bullish moves to the upside we gotta get back over that 0.1407 grab some support consolidation make her up to that 786 at point one eight two six for some amazing recovery on the long term and some bullish moves to the upside so keep an eye on that price action and uh keep an eye on btc we'll do a follow-up video tomorrow and see where we're at oh excuse me <laughs> and moving on up to ach ach coming at 0 0.0157 a little bit of love out there look at that you know definitely bearish butterfly scenario <laughs> cuts that down trend at play are we gonna see some lower price action looks like it's really testing that support had that creepy crawly action as well tried to make some movement up to the upside and uh here we are looking like we're possibly shooting towards some lower price action if we do get a decent bounce could possibly just see some sideways action until the market starts making some moves to the upside i got my eyes on that uh 
0.0104. Are we going to get that price action? We're coming at 0 0.0157. So definitely, you know, I definitely, definitely got my eyes on that, that price action there. As far as getting some bullish moves to the upside, we got to get back over that 0.0322. Grab some support consolidation. Make our way up to that six, uh, the 786 at 0.0398. <laughs> Grab some support consolidation. Make your way up to that 618 at 0.0457 and start making some moves to the upside and getting some decent recovery. So that would be some, you know, the bullish, you know, the awesome, amazing bullish scenario with BTC being so undecided could possibly just see some sideways action until the market starts to make its movement to the upside. The way it's setting up, I, I definitely got my eyes on this uh, 0.0104. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to get it? Could be just wishful thinking, but, uh, you know, keep an eye on that scenario. We'll do a follow-up video tomorrow and see where we're at. So everybody in ACH, good luck. And you always remember this is not financial advice. These are my views and opinions on, on the market only. And you always have to do what's right for you. Uh, moving on up to API 3. API 3 coming in at $1.60 a price action. Same scenario. Got a little bit of a <laughs> little going on, but we got, you know, kind of a different kind of setup here a little bit of bearish butterfly scenario are we going to see some lower price action that just remains to be seen a lot of people are a little bit 50 50 bearish moves to the downside bullish moves to the upside uh you know I, but i definitely keep an eye on the media and uh, when i start seeing some you know things that are definitely going to affect the market i definitely start looking for some lower price action so you know, we got a lot of people calling for a deep relief rally to the upside and then some pullback down to the lower price action, would, which, you know, definitely could be entailed with, you know, all the news that's going on. We still got the Russia-Ukraine scenario. We get a lot of talk about, you know, uh, inflation. We got COVID talk. So <laughs> you know, that could be, you know, definitely at play. Decent relief rally up to the upside and then uh, down to some lower price action. So keep an eye on that uh, <laughs> that price action on EPA 3. Let's go out to the uh, six month. Uh, let's see more than the let's go out to the year to date so as far as getting some decent recovery on api3 we gotta get back over that 306 grab some support consolidation make our way up to that 76 at 449 and start making some movement to the upside uh, for some decent recovery so that would be the awesome amazing bullish scenario with btc being so undecided could poss possibly just see some sideways action the market starts making some movement to the upside so keeping on that price action keeping on btc we'll do a follow-up video tomorrow and see where we're at moving on up to iotix iotix coming at 0 0.0461 Still holding at some amazing price action. Uh, try to make some moves around today. Looks like it's you know set up with some sideways action until the market starts making some movement to the upside. If BTC does get some dippy action, you know we do got this little bit of creepy crawly action. But with IOTIX, you know as you can tell with the the past couple of coins we talked about, we had that uh, basically higher high put in, and then we put in a lower low, <laughs> a lower high. So. Uh, Keeping that downtrend at play, Iotix seems to be, you know, got a higher high end. Looks like it's got a higher low end. Are we going to see some bullish action to the upside? You know, that definitely remains to be seen. I'm definitely excited. As far as getting some bullish moves to the upside, we got to get back over that 0.0746, grab some support consolidation, make our way up to the uh, 0.0968, and start making some movement to the upside. So that would be the definite, you know, awesome, amazing bullish scenario with BTC being so undecided. Could be setting up with the sideways action until the market starts making some movement to the upside. And if we do come back down and start seeing some lower price action below this 0.0. 294. Definitely on her looking for some lower price actions. <laughs> keep an eye on that price action. Keep an eye on BTC and uh, keep an eye on the news. We'll do a follow up video tomorrow and see where we're at. So, everybody and all the coins we talked about tonight, good luck. And you always got to remember this is not financial advice. These are my views and opinions on the market only. And you always got to do what's right for you. So, you, so you always have a good afternoon, good evening, good morning, good night. Mr. Big Braids is signing out.